Okay. Do you have a Do you have a theory as a professional private investigator who may be the father? I don't work on theories. No. But you have hunches as a pro. I, I did not do I did not do an investigation, so I went. Uh, but in your in I went I went venture guess because I didn't do an investigation. So you wouldn't, if you were to go look, as a private investigator, if you were to start to head off down a track to figure out who the father was, what track would you tell me to head down? Well, of course, DNA would be the, yeah, that's the uh, most obvious thing. Okay. Um, did you ever meet Jesse Grund? Uh, no, sir. Uh, now, The Friday ends, they're fingerprinted, uh -huh. Lee comes later. Uh -huh. uh, are you and Dominic talking about the case on this Friday? No, no. Has Dominic ever said to you, I believe that Casey has something to do with the disappearance and death of Kaylee? Uh, truthfully, no. He's never said that. Has he ever led you to believe that that's what he believes? No, I don't think so. Do you believe that? Believe. That Casey Anthony had something to do with the disappearance and death of her daughter? Why don't you just put me on the spot here, John? Uh, <laughs> um, you're a, you're a, I can tell by talking to you, you're a seasoned, very wily, professional, private investigator. And I'd, I'd love to hear what, you, what your conclusions have been. I think it's a high probability. What do you think happened? What I think happened really doesn't. Well, it can help me. It can help me help Zenaida. So you know, I, I've been you know very impressed would, by would, you today. I would, I would think. I would hope. You know. I mean, you, you know. You, certainly, it's a it's a tragedy. Right. You know, uh, there's several tragedies involved here, but I would I would you know uh, hope that uh, there was not a murder. I would hope that there was an accident. That somebody panicked, didn't know what to do, and, and you know went from there. Is that what you think happened? Not knowing Casey, yeah, you know personally, yeah, um, yeah, I really can't make a judgment. You know, if I'd known her prior to all this, and but it's your it's your best guess that she had something to do with the death of her child. Uh, I would I would hope as an accident. Yeah. Do you think chloroform was involved in the accident? I, I wouldn't know. And so your belief, your hunch, as a private investigator, is there was an accident, and then a cover-up. Oh, I didn't say it was a cover-up. An thing. accident, and then, and then somebody panicked and didn't know what to do. And then it just uh, snowballed from there. Okay. Now, I mean, there's as many theories as there are people. Um, how much interaction did you have in conversation with George and Cindy out there at the Ritz? Uh, um, pretty decent amount, more so with George, I think, than Cindy. Um, during the whole time, what happened on, let me ask you this, what happened on, so Friday, you come on back to the Ritz on uh, Friday after the fingerprinting? Um, when we left the fingerprinting, uh, we had gone back to the, uh, during the day, earlier in the day, I, I, mentioned, I forgot to mention that I take Dominic out to his house to pick up his vehicle, and we brought his vehicle back to the East Side Baptist Church and left it there. And then after the fingerprinting, uh, we went to uh, Dominic's uh, vehicle, and uh, Cindy rode with uh, Dominic to the hotel, and, I, and George rode with me. Okay. What did you and George talk about on the way out there? <sighs> Just, uh, just, uh, nothing about the case. It just, what was his uh, mental I don't, state? I didn't, I, what was his mental state? Just really stressed. Just, uh, you know. Uh, Understandably. Yeah. Moody. Not, not, not a bad moody. Just, just, uh, depressed. Yeah, depressed, I guess, would be the term. Did, um, and so you go back to the hotel. What happened at the hotel? More food and. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I had taken, um, I took George back to the hotel. Okay. And then what? Were you done for the evening? 
I was on. Did you see Dominic anymore up there at the hotel? No. Was ABC News re- producers running around? I didn't see anybody. Okay. When was the last time you saw the ABC producer? I think at dinner. Thursday night? Uh, yes, sir. So she comes and, I guess, swipes the, the black card and leaves town? Um, again, you'd have this girl. <laughs> now, also, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, I saw her the, uh, I think I saw her the next morning also. Yeah, just in the hallway. Now, and then Saturday comes. What happens on Saturday? Uh, I think. I think I had left. Again, I have to go back. I think I had left um, late Friday to go home and spend some time with my son, and then I came back uh, late Saturday evening. Yeah. So you weren't with them during Not the day. Not during the day, no, sir. They're still at the Ritz. Yes, sir. What are they doing out there? Just kind of hanging out. Well, the time I was there, except for the time I spent with George, uh, you know, down uh, when he went down for brunch. Uh, and why? They, why they didn't they go home? Why didn't they go home? After you locked it up on Thursday night. Well, see, there were. I had gone to the house uh, a couple times. The, again, the media was there. It was like. Did the uh, media not know that y'all were at the Ritz? Oh, I'm sure they. Oh no, they. I'm sure they knew. Matter of fact, I, I know they knew because uh, some. Somebody did show up, but they're not allowed in the Ritz. Or? They were, they they showed up and they were in the Ritz. But why, why were y'all out there at the Ritz uh, when the house when their the house was available? The only thing I tell you that you know I was asked to take I was asked to uh, provide services out there and I did. Do you know why they stayed at the Ritz after their house had been secured? I think just because of all the the, the media circuses in front of their house. Kind of relax. And yeah, I think so. So Friday and Saturday night you go back to the Ritz. Were you sleeping in the room those those nights? Uh, Friday night, uh, I was up all night because again I went out to the house. I think um, I think I left uh, the Ritz. Or, yeah, at um, twelve thirty, one o'clock at night, went out to the house, waited um, probably forty five minutes or so. You know, while the FBI and the, the police were finishing up their um, their search. Is this Saturday? Uh, no, this is the first night. Okay, the first night. First night. But but now, okay, well, how many nights did you sleep out there at the Ritz? I think just. Um, See, Thursday night we were out there, and I think uh, I think just uh, Thursday and Saturday, because uh, gotta have to. Okay. Kind of thing. But um, Saturday, you come back that night. Saturday, the Ritz, yeah. And what happened? What did you do that night? Um, just uh, spoke with Dominic for a while. Then uh, Sunday morning, uh, we went to breakfast. Um, uh, we went to Jordan Sydney's room. They had room service. Uh, then we left from there and went. Uh, Went from there to church. I took to the church and then to the house. The whole time you were with, Don, with the whole time leading up to this uh, weekend, I'll call it the weekend at the Ritz. Mm-hmm. Um, leading up to the weekend at the Ritz, the whole time that you were with Cindy and George Anthony, did they ever tell you what they think happened to Kaylee? Uh, no, sir. Did Dominic ever tell you what he thought happened to Kaylee? Oh, again, he, he's, uh, well, like I say, up until uh, November the 15th, uh, I was the impression that he thought she was still alive. Now, the whole time you were out there, um, you never heard them say anything about Zenaida Gonzalez, did yes, you? Yes, sir. No, sir, I didn't. You, you, and, and you're out there helping Dominic, mm-hmm. and you never heard Dominic say anything about Zenaida Gonzalez. Um, no, I didn't say that. Did you ever hear Dominic say anything about Zenaida Gonzalez? Uh, yes, sir. When was the first time he said something about Zenaida Gonzalez? Oh, gosh. Um, probably, um, probably sometime in September. He, he said, what did he say to you? Just basically that uh, he had... Uh, Checked out the name Zenaida Gonzalez, and there were several in the area. That he had checked out the name Zenaida Gonzalez, yes, sir. and that there were several several in the Orlando area or Florida, I think he said. Okay. And what did he tell you? His so I guess that was he he was in hot pursuit of Zenaida Gonzalez. Then I would imagine. Okay. What did you understand his pursuit to be? I mean, what was he doing to find Zenaida Gonzalez? Um, I truly don't know what he did. Um, why did he, what did he, he say, what, what made him tell you about Zenaida Gonzalez? 
Yeah. It's just uh, whatever, whatever date, again, the, the time, I don't know what, you know, I'm guessing September, you know. Um, just it was in the news. 